Hello everyone, so today our topic is how to send affiliate links from Telegram to various platforms such as LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook. So today our objective is that whenever we get a new affiliate link on our Telegram group or channel, we want to use this link to create a new post on our social media such as LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter. For that, we are going to create an integration between Telegram, Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. For creating this integration, we are going to use Pavli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pavli Connect, we are going to use triggers and action. In trigger application, we will be using Telegram. In action application, we will be using Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. How I'm going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And this is my Telegram. And this is my Facebook page. This is my LinkedIn page and this is my Twitter page. Suppose I'm having a company and I'm sending affiliate links on my Telegram channel or group. And here my purpose is that I need to post that same message on my Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. And I also want to automate this process so that it can save my time and energy. And for this, I'm going to create an integration between Telegram, Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. For creating this integration, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take me to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. And if you already have an account, you can just sign in Then you will see this page and here we can see these are all the tools that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect. For that I'm going to click here on access now button under Pabli Connect. And it will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflow that we will create here. This is the folder section and we can create new folder here and we can save any workflow on any particular folder that we want. Now we are going to create workflow. For that, I'm going to click here on this blue button called create workflow. And this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. And so I will name it as my objective, which is send affiliate links from Telegram to various platforms. And I will select the folder where I want to save my workflow in, which is home. So I will click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of my workflow. Here we have two boxes, triggers and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. So trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger will be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we will set up our trigger first and our trigger application will be telegram. So I will search for telegram. I will click here and I will give my trigger event. So I will open this tab and I will select my trigger event, which is set webbook slash watch updates. So I will click here and I will connect this. So I will click on connect and I will click on add new connection. So for connecting my telegram account and my Pavli connected account, I have to give a token. So for getting a token, you need to follow all these instructions. So for getting token, I will go back to my telegram account and I will search for bot father. And I will click on this blue button and I will select slash new bot. So this will create a new bot for me. I have to name my bot. So I will name it as Pabli Marketing and I will send this. Now it is asking for a username. So I will give a username now. So my username will be Pabli Marketing underscore bot. So one thing that you have to keep in mind while giving a username that your username should always end with underscore bot. So I will send this. And this has generated a token for me and this is my bot. So I'm going to copy this token and I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and I will paste it here and I will click on save. So my connection is successful. Now I will go back to Telegram and I will open my bot and I will click on start. And now I will go back to Pabli Connect and I will click on save and send test to button. 
Now to get this response, I need to go back to Telegram and create a new group. So I will click here, I will click on new group and I will add new members. I need to add my bot. I will add my bot and other members. You can add any member that you want. I will create this. I will give it a name. I will name it as Pabli Marketing. So I will create this and I will open this. And here we can see we have these four members. And what I need to do is that I need to give admin authorization to my bot. For that, I'm going to use my mobile phone because Telegram web doesn't support giving authorization so I will open Telegram on my mobile phone and then I will open group and then I will give admin authorization to my bot. I will refresh this and I will open it again. And here we can see my bot has admin authorization. So now we will send a message here. So we have this marketing message which says celebrate Diwali with us. Enjoy a festive 20% discount on our products as a token of our gratitude. Use Diwali code Diwali20 at checkout. Hurry, this offer shines bright only for a limited time. Shop now and make your Diwali even more special with Pabli. And this is the link. So I will send this and I will go back to Pabli Connect. And we can see we have this response and in message text, we have that same marketing message. Now what we are going to do is we are going to split this text and this link by using a tool that Pabli offers. For that, I'm going to open this action and in action step, I will search for text formatter. So text formatter is a tool that Pabli offers and I will select my action event, which will be split text. I will connect. I will map the text that I want to split. So I will map it from the trigger response. So this is my message and I will use the separator as the space. So by this separator, what is going to happen is that whenever there is a space, this message will split. Now in the segment index, I will select last. So what this is going to do is that it will split the text from the last space. So I will click on save and send text circle button. And here we can see we got this link. Now what we want is that we want this same message to post on our social media like Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. So for that, we will create new action steps. So I will click here on add action step. My first action application will be Facebook. So I will search for that. I will select Facebook pages. And my action event will be create page post. I will connect my account. I will click on add new connection. I will connect with Facebook pages. I will click on continue to give authorization. So my connection is successful. Now I need to map my page for that. Let's go back to my Facebook account. And here we can see this is my page and the name of my page is Pabli. So let's go back to Pabli Connect and I will map my page Pabli. I will select this. So this will be my Facebook page and I will map the message here. So I have mapped my message from the trigger response. So the question is, what is mapping? So mapping is a process through which we can retrieve the data from previous steps and the data will get exchanged in the real time with the real data. Now I have to give link URL. So we have splitted this link. So I will map this here from the text formatter. And I will click on save and send text request button. So in the response, we have this ID. Now to check whether we have posted this same message on our Facebook account or not, let's go back to Facebook. Let's refresh this. And now here in the post section, we can see we have this new post, which is the same message that we have on our Telegram. We have the same link. Now let's go back to Public Connect. Now I'm going to do the same for LinkedIn. So my action application here will be LinkedIn. Now I will give an action event. My action event will be share an article or URL. I will click on connect. I will click on add new connection. I will connect with LinkedIn. So my account is successfully connected. 
Now I have to map all these details. So in the author, I have this Ashi and I will map the content from the trigger response. Similarly, I will map the article URL from the text formatter and visibility will be public. So I will click on save and send test request button. So in the response, we have another ID to check whether we have this post in our LinkedIn. Let's go back to LinkedIn. I will open my profile. And here in the activity, we can see we have this new post, which is the same post that we have on my Facebook. And this is the same message that we have on our Telegram. Now we will go back to public connect and we will do the same for the Twitter. I will add action step. And my action application here will be Twitter. I will click here. And here my action event will be create tweet. I will connect my account. I will click on add new connection. I will connect with Twitter. Here I have to give client ID and client secret. For getting this, I need to use Twitter developer. I will open Twitter developer. And I will open my Pavli account. And here I have to go to keys and tokens. I will scroll down and this is my client ID. So I will copy this. I will go back to Pavli Connect and I will paste it here. Similarly, I will go back to Twitter developer and I will generate my client secret. I will copy this and I will go back to Pavli Connect and I will paste it here. I will click on save. I will authorize my app. So my connection is successful. Now we need to map these details. So first I will map the message from the trigger response. So this will be my message. And if you have tweet ID or the deep link, so you can map it here too. I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And this has created a new post on my Twitter. So let's go back to Twitter. I will refresh this. And here we can see we have this new tweet on my Twitter account. And this is the same post that we have on LinkedIn, Facebook, and this is the same message that we have on my Telegram channel. So let's go back to public connect. So here my workflow is working successfully and my integration is smooth. So let's summarize what we did here. First, we have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Telegram and my trigger event was set webhook slash watch updates. Then I have set up an action and in my action, I have used text formatter by Pavli and I have splitted the text and the link differently. Then I have set up another action. In this, I have used Facebook pages and my action event was create page post. Then I have used another action and in my action application, I used LinkedIn and here my action event was share an article or URL. And in the last action application was Twitter and my action event was create tweet and I have created this workflow successfully. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I will put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.